to Desert Isle Crafting. I'm Christy. Hello everyone. How are you today? I hope you all are having a great day. Well, today I have a review for you from Tapestry Market. These are a couple kits that I, I bought on my own. They didn't send these to me for review, but I think they're really pretty. And I think you'll really enjoy, enjoy seeing them. I will have a discount code for you also. It'll be up on the screen and it'll be down below in the comments. I'll tell you about that later. I hope y'all are doing great. This uh, heat has kind of gotten to me a little bit. I wasn't able to do that stitch with me on Saturday simply for that reason, but I I said yesterday that I was going to do a video on it yesterday and I, I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. So I'm going to do my best to do it today. And I think what I'll do is um, I'll show you my progress with that silk kit, the sunflowers. But then in the same video, I'll also do a stitch along with bead embroidery. You know, a couple weeks ago, I showed you some things I got from Amazon and there was a floral bead embroidery kit that I had picked up. And so I have started that and I thought that would be um, an interesting little thing to do a stitch along with. So please hit that notification bell if you haven't already so that you don't miss that video. A huge thank you and welcome to all my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I really, really um, enjoy doing this. I love all the support I get from y'all. And my birthday's actually next week. So one day next week, we will be having another giveaway. So what better way for me to thank you subscribers than to give you guys a giveaway on my birthday? I just think that's an excellent idea. So keep your eye open for that too. Okay, so Tapestry Market, they're not, well, I mean, they do have really inexpensive kits, but they also have really expensive kits. So they're kind of, I would say, mid-range. Shop around, like I tell you guys, there's so many different shops that sell these same exact kits. Um, look for your best prices and don't forget to use the discount code. It is my name, Christy, K-R-I-S-T-Y. It'll be uh, on the screen and in the description. And you get 10% off your order with Tapestry Market. So um, every little bit of coupon, every little bit of discount code definitely, definitely helps, especially in these days. So let's get going with this. I've got two kits to show you. And, okay, these stained glass kits, I just can't help myself. They keep adding more and more and more designs to these stained glass kit collections, I guess you could call them. And I, if I bought them all, my God, there'd probably be 50, 60, 70 kits. So if you like the stained glass look, which I absolutely love, um, there's so many to choose from. It's incredible. Now this is that no-name manufacturer that we see an awful lot of. And this kit is actually, I'm going to post a picture up here so you can see it. It's stained glass hydrangeas. Hydrang hydrangeas. I have trouble saying that word. I can spell it though. And I think they are absolutely beautiful. One of my all-time favorite flowers. And I just thought this was gorgeous. So let's look at this real quick. This one has nice big pattern. I just wish they would make that thumbnail bigger like they sometimes do. This is a 14 count, 50 by 65. Got your gridding. And let's just check this out. It is very clearly printed. You've got your big areas of color blocking here. But then we have our crazy confetti. And yeah, the typical, um, like, you know, we always talk about this because we're finding it so often, where so many symbols are, like all those red symbols next to each other. And with a 14 count, I think I'll be referring back to this pattern quite a bit, but we'll take a look at the fabric and see what that looks like. This is actually 40 colors, which I think is great. I mean, look at all those big areas there. And that's going to be all, this number four is all going to be 310 black. So with these stained glass pictures, I'm tempted to say I would do all the black first, 
But then when I look at these areas where you've got, I don't know, the same symbol, but I mean different symbols, but the same color, I, I just want to be able to see things as clearly as po possible. So maybe I would do all that first and then the black at the end. So it's nice, nice and clearly printed. This is a really big pattern too. I really like that. And for those of you just starting out with cross stitch, this number over here in the legend is going to tell you the number of floss to use um, on your floss organizer, the symbol that you'll find on the pattern that corresponds the DMC code. Now they, they don't give you a color chart here, but here's the DMC codes of the thread. And now let's take a look at the actual fabric. Okay. So this is really nicely done. Printed very, very well. Nice colors that you can see. I'm going to go back to that area again where we've got... Come on, focus in where we've got a lot of red symbols that are all different together. And I can see that they're very clearly printed, very easy to read. All the symbols are staying in their own square. They're not like half in another square, thank goodness. Yeah, I just wish that they wouldn't do this. I know I harp on, harp on and on about it, but it just drives me crazy. I mean, surely. There's enough colors and enough color uh, variations that they could not have to put so many of the same sim so many symbols with the same color together. But this is uh, well done with the searched edges. You've got your legend over here has the same symbols as what was on the paper pattern. The item number, which is really important, especially if you're um, needing to contact them, the customer service department, which is really great at Tapestry Market. You run out of thread, you run out of floss, you have a problem with your canvas. Um, they will definitely take care of you. And I have yet to find an instance, well, I think one time I ran out of floss, but it was a Joy Sunday kit. I haven't had that problem with this. Now your instructions come along and as you can see they are just like the back of a Joy Sunday package. Go out a little bit there. Just like the back of a Joy Sunday package with diagrams, how to pick your floss, 14 count you'll use two strands out of the six strand floss, how to soak your canvas afterwards or fabric so that you get all the ink out which and it does come out nicely and some little tips little tips to help you out. Now let's look at this floss because boy, look at all of that. There is a lot of it. We have our little tool kit. Which is your threader, your adjustable little thimble. If you have a tendency to poke yourself in the finger, which yeah, sometimes I do. Five needles. Standard toolkit for this manufacturer, great. Only thing missing, like I always say, are some scissors. You'd be good to go. Now this floss. We've got our stitch, sticker on the front that tells you the item number and the information you need so that you know that the, this floss goes with this kit. Very important, especially if you store things separately. I keep everything together. The toolkit, the floss, the fabric, the pattern. I keep it all in the bag it came with, um, and it stays that way until I get ready to start stitching on it. And then I might put it into a project bag, or I just might put it back in the plastic bag. Look at all these hanks of thread. Whew, let's look at those first. So we've got a lot of 310 black. One, two, three, four strands of 310 black. And then we have this brown. This is dark brown. It is 337. 
So we have two, three, no, three, three, seven, one, sorry. I didn't see the one on there. Three, three, seven, one brown, 40 strands in each hank. Then this is kind of a steel gray 413. And then we have 712, kind of an ivory. And then we have more of a medium brown, which is 801. And 3860, lighter brown. And then we have a rust that's 400. So, wow, that's a lot of floss. Let's check out the colors. I hate tangling floss up. Sometimes it just gets squished, I think. Really squished. Now, there's a lot of blues in this. I'm glad to see that too. This is a bit of a dark picture, but I think that it will be beautiful and it will really come alive these colors when they're up against that black from the stained glass look thing now here we've got uh, a turquoise blue a gold that darker or that medium brown I showed you and then a lighter brown there I love these colors I just think they're beautiful together beautiful and then we have So as I explained earlier, for people who are new, so number two here that you would see, that would be this right here, number two thread. So it's so easy to find. Your um, product numbers are not written on these cards. I would do that just to be on the safe side. And then we have all our shades of such pretty colors here. That's 823, burgundy, some greens, Ooh, that's like a really dark teal color. What is that? That's 3750. Oh, I like that color a lot. Here's another teal. That's gorgeous. That's 3844. Some yellow. And then when you see that there's just one strand like this, number four is the 310 black, that generally tells you that you've got a hank to go along with it. We've got some beautiful purple, 550. Beautiful colors. I think that this is just going to be stunning. I just love these flowers. I wish I could grow them here, but I can't. It's just too hot. I think the heat in the summer would just kill them. And right now, even our... We have sprinklers, water our plants twice a day. I've got desert plants, um, agaves and cactuses and stuff, and they're dying. And I, when I went up to get the mail the other day, um, there's a lot of that planted by our mailboxes. And I noticed as I was driving up the street, everybody else's plants are dying too. It's just because it's been so crazy hot here. I hate to see those plants die. Anybody's plants die. So this is a beautiful kit. I really, really like it. And like I said, this is not necessarily a budget-friendly store. So I think this kit was over 20 bucks. But considering, like I say, everything you get with these kits, I think it's money well spent. I mean, just the cost of the floss alone for something like this. When you see all this pile of hanks that you get with it, that can add up really, really fast. And it's a really nice stamped um, stamped uh, cloth there. Now let's look at the next one. Okay, this one is a butterfly. I thought this was really pretty. Okay, so I'll put a picture up on the screen so you can see stained glass butterfly I thought was just gorgeous and let's take a look at the paper pattern here it's not quite as big as the other one was but it's still good size and it's not smeary it's not smeary at all it's really easy to read 
This is a 50 by 65. The last one was a 50 by 65. So these are big, these are big pictures. And I um, wanted you to know that they are coming out with silk kits, but smaller silk kits. Yeah. I know Fan Cells is, I talked to Biggest Craft about that yesterday, and I'm looking forward to getting those when they do come out to show you because the, you know, the one I've been working on, it's been, oh, oh, three weeks now, and I'm still not halfway done with it, and I work on it every single solitary day for hours at night. So um, I thought that would be good news that they're coming out with smaller silk kits that will, won't take quite as long. So this is a great pattern. I think it's a beautiful picture with the arch along the top. These are flowers. We've got the beautiful butterfly and then more flowers down at the bottom. I just thought this was so pretty. Pretty. I mean, it's got a lot of color blocking, but this really reminds me in a lot of ways of the silk sunflowers because there's so many, you know, sections. I mean, it's got a little bit of confetti, but it's got so many sections where you can just go to town, you know? You can just stitch away and get that done really fast. And this is an 11 count. The last one was 14. This is 11. Now let's see what we got here. We've got the same instructions as last time. We've got, oh, this has a butterfly on the back. This is the same little toolkit with the threader, the um, adjustable thimble, and then the poofy ball with the five needles. Let's take a look at this actual fabric. You know, I think they make them this big for details purposes. You know, just like in diamond painting, the bigger they you make them, the more detail that you have. Surged, surged edges, excuse me. Product number, size, charting with a grid so that you can find your spot if you need to look at the paper pattern. And what did I say, 40 colors, which I think is fantastic. We've got the thumbnail up here at the top. Boy, this one's printed really, really, really well. Really well. Very, very easy to read. I think this one will just be a joy to do. Let's look at the other side. Now, I didn't get a measurement on that, but being that they're the same size, I'll measure this one, the actual picture size. This is just beautiful. Very, very easy to see easy to read pattern. Now where's my measuring tape? Okay, I'm going to open this up, but I'm going to have to turn it sideways because I just have the room. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to do it vertically first. We'll see what size it is. Okay, it's 23 inches vertically, up and down, and then across horizontally it's 17 inches so this is 23 by 17 the other one was the same exact size very very nicely printed yeah this will be nice to do this will be easy to do neither one of these have back stitching so that'll go really well Let's look at the floss that we get with this kit because this has lighter colors in it. And the floss has that sticker on there again, even though I ripped it with the product number on it. Nice little touch. Okay, so we've got our hanks here of 310, of course, because it's a stained glass. And then we have gold. This is a pretty gold. This is 3820, and then we have some rust, 900, and this is another 900, yep. Yeah. And then this is a burgundy, it's gorgeous, and that is 902. So we have some hanks there, not quite as much as the other one, but still plenty. And then look at, let's look at the colors. So yeah, this definitely has a lot more lighter colors in it. Sometimes you want you don't want to do something so dark. Okay. Get that 
got untangled. Let me pull this out. So we've got some light browns, medium browns, and then that number 39 is 3865, and then this is 3866. Just a little teeny bit different. Okay, so when we look at the floss card, let's see. So that number one, that is the black 310. We have all kinds of tans in different shades, beautiful, I call that hunter green, beautiful green. We've got a light kind of mauve, pinky mauve. Blues, pink, baby pink, I'd call that. A light tan. Lots of browns and tan colors in this picture. That's a real pretty green too. A darker pink, light yellows and golds. This will be really, really pretty. It's good to see these colors. And for a picture this big, I mean, I know we have the Hanks right here, but for a picture this big, there's not as much floss that that I as, I, as I would expect with this. But it's nice and soft, beautiful colors. I think this will just be stunning too. So if you haven't been to Tapestry Market, I have a link down below for you. And I will link both of these um, kits down below in the description also. And don't forget to use that discount code at checkout for I believe it's 10% off your order. So we've got two beautiful kits from Tapestry Market. If you like this video, please hit that like button. It makes the biggest difference in the world with YouTube. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.